Hey, what's up, guys? I'm on R2, and today I'm going to show you how I make textures for my intros in Cinema 4D. So let's take an example of kind of the texture that we are going to be creating in the Citrus Gaming Intro version 2. So if I pause it right there, you can see we have a nice reflective, grungy material, and it looks pretty nice. If we fast forward, you can see it's again on the text. So it's actually not that hard to do. All we're going to be using is a texture, a grunge map, and reflection. And with the proper settings, we can get it to look pretty nice. So we're going to go to Cinema 40. You can see I have a simple scene, a text object, and a plane to light it up. So if you want, you can pause the video now and uh, create some text that you want to use to texture on. Anyway, let's go down to the material section. I'm just going to double click anywhere in this gray area to make a new material and double click on the material to edit it. Now we are in the color channel and we're going to load in a texture that we have saved. So you can use any high resolution grunge texture that you think would work well. If you don't have any, you can find some um, on Google Images, although well, those might be copyrighted, but you guys know how to find some cool grunge textures. Anyway, um, we're going to click here on texture, load image, and you can see you have your whole computer to look through. I'm just going to use this texture. And we're just going to click no for this. And you can see now we have this nice grunge kind of texture. But the problem is it's the wrong color. Um, and I want to try to make this a bluish grayish color. But you guys can make it whatever color you want. But rather than changing the color here, which we are going to do, but um, to change the color of the actual texture, we can click on this little arrow again and we can go to filter and once we've done that we're just gonna click right here on filter and this allows us to edit the material so first of all we're just gonna increase the saturation which adds more color to it and then we can change to hue which is basically what color it is so I'm just gonna go for a greenish blue and that's looking pretty good. You can play around with all these other settings, but this is good for now. Now, if we want to see less of the, if we want to blend in this texture with the color right here, we can choose a similar color or whatever color you want. Click OK. And we can put the mix strength at like 50%. And this will blend the texture with the color. But you don't have to do that, but it's an option if you find that the texture is kind of too strong. Alright, next up, this is optional, but I do do this on a lot of my tutorials, is add luminance. And you can choose whatever color you want. And I only like adding about like 10 to 20% luminance usually. But it blends the color a little bit more. And it adds some light, but that's an option. So now let's just add this onto the material, onto the text, and see how it looks so far. And if you see it looks really weird, you can't see the texture. And that's because you need to change to projection to cubic. And that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to move the offset Y. Um, put the tiles at 0.8 so it's a little bit more stretched out and it fits the text. And that's looking pretty good. And let's just render this so far and see how it looks. Alright, so you can see it's looking pretty good, but it doesn't look like it has any literal texture. Um, if you see right here, you can see it actually has like texture to it. And that's because we need to add the bump effect. And this is going to give it its texture. So now once we have the bump, you're going to see that nothing is, at, is going to change. And that's because we need to give it a texture. And for the bump channel, I find the best bump channels, what we're actually going to do, we're going to click here to go to the content browser. And I'm already in it, but if we go into engineering edition, oh, I'm sorry guys, my eye is hurting, chlorine is getting to me. Ah, Alright, but go into the engineering edition, go if you have it, go, well you should if you have 11.5, go into the material section, 
and we're just going to go to the stone. And you'll actually probably have this in R12 too, which is good. And if we look at all these textures, for example this one, you can see it has a really nice bump map to it. So you can look through these, find one that you like, you can see that as an interesting bump texture. And once we've chosen one, we're basically just going to be copying the texture, or copying the bump channel, and pasting it on this material, basically. So I'm just going to look for a little while, find one that looks nice. And I think this is actually a pretty cool texture right here, the anthracite coal. So you can use that one if you want, or this rock brown one is pretty good too. Let's actually use this one. So we're just going to double click to load the material in. And we're just going to edit the material. And we're going to go to the bump channel in this material. And we're just going to go to the texture and we're going to copy the channel. So basically we're just using this bump channel, which basically gives it its depth, gives it its texture. And we're going to be pasting it on this material. So we're going to edit this material, so double click on it. And under the bump channel, just paste it. And you can see it's not going to make much of a difference because the strength is so low, but if we type in a number like 150, you can see you're starting to see that bump channel in action. And if we want to edit this, you can click on one of these. And some things you can edit is the global scale, basically how zoomed in it is, or how close up the texture is. Um, and the seed is basically where the texture is. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll get the idea. Alright, so let's render it with this bump channel on. And hopefully this will make a difference and make it look like it actually has some texture to it. You can see that's a really nice texture. Already made the material twice as good. And yeah, we have a pretty nice material. Now we can stop here or we can add reflection. And if you're going for kind of a stone rock style, you might not want reflection, but in general I find reflection makes the material look a lot cooler. So we're gonna check off reflection. For the texture, we're going to change it to Fresnel, and we're just going to put the brightness at 15%. Oops, what's going on here? Brightness at LOL. 15% for the brightness, and also 15% for the mix strength. And you don't have to use exactly 15%, but that's the number I usually use somewhere around there. I find it works pretty well. So now let's render this with the reflection on and see how it looks. Alright, so that's basically, we're done with our material. You can see it looks really nice. Not much else to say about it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like the video and comment if you want to suggest a tutorial or ask a question about this one or just tell me how nice a person I am. But thanks for watching guys. Please hit the like button. Alright, peace out.